Ready? Let's roll. Taking the extremely filthy trash on the ground GTI. Because we are going to the ranch, right? We're going, hold on. We're, we're going to the ranch to pick up my dad's um, angle grinder. To cut off the apron of the bug. Don't have much to do on it right now because I don't have any parts or anything and I can't pull the body off yet because I still don't have any help. For now, we're going to cut the apron off and see what it looks like. I might weld it back on, but it's pretty fucked up for now. So we shall see. The shop. Oh, I need to cut that in half. Well, I, uh, my battery died on the way back from the ranch, but you get the point. But we're back now, and we're gonna take the apron off of the bug once and for all. We'll see about pulling the engine out. I don't know, I might do it right now. I might not. I don't know if I have space in the garage right now. I kinda do, gotta do some organizing and finish with some other projects, and I got another project to do as well that I, yeah, so, anyways, enjoy. All right, so from all the research that I've done, which is not much, I just watched a YouTube video of a guy cutting this off. All you have to do to get this off is drill out the uh, spot welds with a special spot weld drill bit that I don't have. So, I'm gonna cut it off because I don't really, th I think I would have to, first of all, this has been so severely damaged that, uh, it's not worth saving. I mean, there's so much Bondo and you can see here There's there's like a quarter inch of Bondo on this thing. It's obviously had a rear-end collision in the past because This is the bumper mount It's Completely messed up. So I started tearing these bits. This is where this right here is where it was spot welded um, but obviously you can see because of the collision I tore this back and tore this back. But before that, it was all messed up. So it's obviously just not really worth saving. So I already cut along here pretty far. I think I gotta do some more cutting down in this section. And then I gotta cut back here because it's also welded back here. Same thing over here, obviously. Started cutting here with the Dremel, but I ran out of cutting discs and I figured it'd probably just be easier to use an actual angle grinder. So we're gonna get in here and get her done. This might be a bad idea with the fuel line right here. Um, but All right, yeah, I'm actually gonna stop and maybe put up some cardboard or something to catch all these sparks because I don't have any way to put out a fire. So, let's do that. Okay, so I got a piece of cardboard up there just to catch the sparks there and covering the engine with a tarp. Let's see if this will work better. One 
in the ear. Oh, I hate when that happens. Ah, it'll come out eventually. Ooh. that so obviously still together right up here and inside but oh can't hear anything but uh that's better hi buddy wow get you dog who's not scared of all of this um sure wish i could drop the engine right now because i need all this room but i don't have it All that Bondo is just kind of burning. Gross. Or the sealant. Maybe I'll pound out, you know, uh, sandblast off the Bondo. Pound out all the messed up pieces and weld it back on. But I don't know. Might like the way it looks without, without the apron on there. Especially with the engine that I want sticking out the back. Might be kind of nice. So, we shall see. I've cut all over here, cut down in there. Same thing on the other side. I might have a little bit of trouble getting this out because of the angle. Let's see. Okay, I see where the problem might be. Oh, there we go. All right, all right. We're coming, we're coming. Looks like it might still be connected. Yeah, right there. But let's see if I could just. Body work will be required. Oh, the seal is making it stay. There we go. Wow. And that is going under here. I'm gonna need a tetanus shot after this, I think. So that wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. Probably get the engine out now, which is cool because now I can just take it right out the back instead of having to lift the car up more than it already is on these recently recalled jack stands that I haven't returned. Don't tell my mom. I haven't ever taken this out. I've taken it fairly apart before and Stuff like that, but haven't haven't ever taken the engine out. So this might be ugh, kind of fun for me. Let's put these back here. Oh, that's copyrighted. Never mind. All right. Ready? There we go. So there's my 1963 1200 cc 47 horsepower. So yeah, I think I'm gonna post it on maybe some forums or something with the engine numbers and see if somebody needs it. It's a pretty solid engine. I mean, I haven't really had any issues with it. I've had it tuned up one time in the three years that I've had it and everything's been fine with it, so now I'm going to pull the engine out, which I'm excited about because I want to see how wrecked the transmission is because I'm trying to save it, but I guess we'll see. I might have to get it rebuilt. I had to cut out what I just said because I don't want to give away what I'm doing, even though most of you that are probably watching this know me and know what I'm doing but if you don't surprise well not yet not, not yet but stay tuned
Excuse me, dog. Don't, uh... Yeah, don't let me interrupt. Alright, folks, that's it for today. I was going to pull the engine out, but I really do have to finish a bunch of my other projects <laughs> that I have going on, because I need some room. I'm going to the chiropractor, and I don't feel like it, but I need to get my neck adjusted, so that's cool. Um, yeah, once again, until next time. What do you think, Duck? Huh? Nothing? It's a man of few words.